everybody, it's your friend Kevin and today is Thursday, September 16th, 2022. Um, let's get right to the card to the message of today from the angels. So we're using Archangel Power Tarot cards from Radley Valentine and why is this being such a pill? Look at that. There we go. Thank you. Um, sometimes it just needs a bit of help. <laughs> Um, and today's card is the Nine of Gabriel. I'm going to lift it up a little bit closer to this persnickety camera. Um, we see the angel, Gabriel, behind the one who is toiling in the garden and basically saying, stay determined and move forward, be prepared for any possibility and talks about environmental activism. So in this card, we can see the farmer or the gardener or you tilling over the ground and you see the ground around him is somewhat unkept, unruly. And this little plot that he's got his spade next to, neat little furrows, plants are already growing. He looks like he's cleaning out the weeds. This card represents today's energy and today's energy is saying you may be feeling weary. You might be feeling that you, no matter what you do, it's not quite enough. You may even be saying, why did I take this project on to begin with? This is getting so frustrating. I've, I've just simply had enough. Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of Communication. Archangel Gabriel puts us in touch with the divine and brings around all the angels that we need around to help us forge forward. Archangel Gabriel gives us that last little push. The nine of Gabriel is almost a sign of completion. You're almost there. It's a bit like the last push up the hill before you get to the other side, before you coast down. Sometimes the last little bit of growth is the most tiring because we've already done a lot of growing and we just want this to be finished. However, finishing anything before it's really finished or giving up on anything before it's complete only means we have to go back and redo it. Only means that we get to sit and say, oh, if only I had kept going, if only I had put that one more foot in front of the other, if only I had done that one more thing. The other energy of this card today is really talking about food and what we're consuming. Oddly enough, the Nine of Gabriel is about organic food and looking at organics or nutrition or health. This could be something you're struggling with. This could be something that you're dealing with. And I don't just mean really the food we eat, but just environmentally conscious, organically conscious, moving into a new earthly world. Um, <clears throat> I listened to a podcast this week and the speaker was talking about how, spiritual speaker, they had experienced some physical discomfort after getting a colonoscopy. It was discovered that they had growths and that they had, I don't know if it was a polyp or a tumour. Anyway, ordinarily it would have alarmed most people. But this individual was talking about how she used the power of her healing and the connection with the divine to get more understanding into why this was happening and what she needed to know about this situation. The answer she got may not have pleased many doctors or medical professionals, but it certainly under gave her understanding that while she was, <coughs> excuse me, while she was doing her spiritual work, while she was asking for an opening to the divine, to be lifted to the next level, to follow whatever dimensions we're moving towards. 
physically she was taking on a great deal of the negativity that she was here to clean out, cleanse out and shine light on. Her guides and her spirits were saying it has to go somewhere. It has to land somewhere and your physical body is taking it on. And she asked them the question, well, what should I do to my physical body and my physical environment in order to have this enlightenment, this new level, this new dimension happen? And the angel basically said, you need to eat lighter foods, treat your body with lightness, treat your body with a higher vibration of light. She understood it and she got it. And then the answer came about the basically the colon cancer or the I don't know if it was cancer or benign. She didn't say. But the colon issue was all about digesting food, all about digesting, taking on, pulling in and absorbing the negativity and the darkness of others. So for those of you who are light workers of the light, who want to share the light and anchor the light and be of joy, know that you're going to come up against and bump up against resistance. The resistance we come up against and we bump up against and we don't really know what to do with has really nothing to do with us. It has to do with the energy we're bumping up against is lost. It's stuck. It's fearful. Folks don't necessarily have the same tools that we have to navigate the way forward as we do. And it's possible that it took us a little while to understand the ways of this world, the physical world, the non-physical world, and how those two work together. It took us all a little while to wake up to it. Can you imagine if you have been in the dark, lost in the forest of doubt, the forest of fear, the, the forest of, I don't know what I'm doing, the forest of, oh my goodness, this is all going to go wrong. In order to bring light to it, you're going to face other people's fear, their darkness, their woes, their this. The secret to not taking it on, to not absorbing it within yourself, is to consume lighter foods, to think lighter thoughts, to continue on the spiritual journey, cleansing, washing, putting a little layer of protection on you. Um, what's the little thing I've got here? Love is my um, compass needle. Another one is here that says abundance is linked to the frequency of your heart. Blessings don't just come in the form of dollar bills. Money's an energy. Money is like the, the divine source of energy. You can think of money as an angel. You can ask the angel, the money angel, how do you think about me? How do you feel about me? What do I need to know about you? How much more do I need to get from you? How can I get more of you? Wait for the answer to come. I hope this is making sense. In essence, today's energy of the Nine of Gabriel is keep going, keep toiling, keep digging, keep planting, one thing at a time gets you there. All right, I'll be back tomorrow with more. Lots of love and thanks so much for your comments. Bye.